Hi everyone, my name is Shannon Murphy. I'm a level three Franklin Method educator and faculty who specializes in Franklin Method for Dance. I'm gonna be leading you through a short Franklin Method practice today on the rib cage. And as you can see on the model here, we have the rib cage, 12 sets of ribs coming from the spine around and towards the sternum. And we're gonna have a set of joints here, the costal chondrules, where the rib bones meet an intermediary sort of cartilage ribs that make the front of the chest very flexible yet strong. And then as we get closer, then we're gonna find true synovial joints between the chondral cartilage and the sternum. And we're, that's where we're gonna spend the most of the time today is focused on that and noticing how that feels in movement. So let's begin by tapping our sternum. And the sternum is actually made of three parts. We have the manubrium on the top, the body of the sternum underneath, and below that, the xiphoid process. And between the body of the sternum and the manubrium is a disc, which is going to bring a little more flexibility into the sternum, as well as strength. And as we continue to tap, maybe just bring in a little bit of movement and a little self-talk. So could you say to yourself, my sternum is flexible. My sternum is flexible. My sternum is mobile. Maybe even my sternum is stretchy and strong like a TheraBand. And then pause, and we'll bring our fingers and our attention to the outsides of the sternum here. And you may feel a little sort of bumpy ridge there. What we're feeling is each of the chondral sternal joints and then the indentation in between. Let's be gentle as we massage here. So this is an area that can be a little tender for folks. Just take your time. So remember earlier I mentioned that having cartilage here allows us for some more elasticity, some more flexibility here. And I have this image that the chondral cartilage could almost be like springs where the connection between the sternum and the ribs is elastic. Yeah, and we can press on it a little bit and we can have that nice like recoily feeling. And I wonder what this would feel like to, to move with a little bit. So let's, let's try it right now. Yeah, maybe taking like a little bounce and imagining that the sternum is suspended from these springs. What does that feel like? And we'll pause the bounce for a second. Let's do a little flexion and extension of the spine. But now could we imagine that instead of, you know, bone or even just saying cartilage, could we say, oh, the ribs, between the ribs and the sternum are springs as I flex and extend my spine. Could we imagine that? What does that feel like? So the image I'm getting is as I move into flexion, there's a little bit of compression, and then there's this recoiling up as we extend our spine. So I'm pressing on the springs a little bit towards the sternum, and then they're springing open into extension. Flexion and the cartilage springs us open into extension. Flexion of the spine and extension. Coming back to center. Take a moment to notice. So let's try taking this spring-like feeling in the front of the rib cage into a little movement, a little movement practice. Yeah, so we'll start with flexion and extension like we were just doing. Focusing on that spring-like front of the rib cage. And then I'm gonna bring my arms into it. And as I do that high release, can I feel the springs opening, but also sort of carrying my arms. And then we'll rebound off of that and curve through. I'm gonna take my head to the right. Imagine I'm initiating this movement with this elastic chest, right? And then I'm gonna bring it all the way back to center. And then we'll repeat front and back and front and back, including the arms, sweeping down, arms falling into the springs in the front, sending them up and back down. Let's take the head to the left. What if these side bends we're initiated from the spring-like feeling in my chest, and I center it back to the beginning. Let's do that again. Flexion and extension. Feeling 
the elasticity in the front and circling the arms down and open rebounding arms and circle the head to the right letting the springs stretch and recoil and coming back to the top one more time flexion and extension flexion and extension letting the springy front of the chest Move the arms, recoiling around. Taking the head to the left and right. And left and back to center. All right, let's take one more moment to just notice how we're feeling after this practice. Eyes can be open or closed as we just take a check in. So I'm noticing not only does my chest feel a little bit more open and light, but I've also noticed a shift in my mood too. I actually feel a little lighthearted. <laughs> um, so it's so nice that my movement practice can influence my mood. That's something that I really like to um, acknowledge when I'm doing my Franklin Method practices. Um, I hope that you're feeling something after this tiny little study.